everyone! Just wanting to get on and talk to you guys about the open middle that was assigned the other day due last night. Some of you were able to complete it, which is awesome, um, but others of you hadn't yet submitted it. And I just wanted to get on and talk about the math behind it to give you a little bit more support in doing this assignment. So um, first I wanted to give some shout outs for those of you who were able to complete it and actually nail it. So Damien and Katie, Damien in period one and Katie in period two, you guys got the same answer, which is super cool. Um, in period one, Esmeralda, and in period three, Siklali, and period five, Alicia and Francia, you guys all got the same answer, which was really great. Gabriel in period one and Keegan in period five, um, and Aiden in period two, you guys got the same answer. And then um, Landon came up with two original answers, Landon in period one, which is awesome. Randy in period one came up with an original answer. And um, Sonia in period five came up with an original answer, as well as Adrian in period two. Great job, everybody. Um, the person's answer that I want to highlight today is Sienna's. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about Sienna's answer here, Sienna in period one and um, give you that as an example so that we can kind of talk about the math behind this. So Sienna said that 5% of 320 is 16. Now, the directions were using the numbers 0 through 9 at most one time each, fill in the boxes to create a correct sentence. So Sienna stated that 5% of 320 is 16. She uh, met the first criteria, which was using the numbers zero through nine, one time each. She got five, three, two, zero, one, six. She didn't repeat any digits. So let's see if she completed the second criteria, which was making a correct sentence. So remember when we are multiplying a number, or I'm sorry, when we're finding the percent of a number, that means we are multiplying. Of in math means to multiply. But we can't just multiply that number as it is, as the percent, we need to change it into its decimal form. And remember, percent means over 100. So there's a couple different ways of thinking about how to change it to its decimal form. But right here, if we put five over 100, we know that means five hundredths. And the way that looks as a decimal is putting the five in the hundredths place. So five hundredths. So you can think of it that way, or you can think of it simply as when you have a percent, you're simply going to drop that percent sign, picture that invisible decimal right there, move it to the left twice, and fill in your zeros. So that becomes five hundredths. So either way, we get five percent is five hundredths. So now we're going to multiply five hundredths by 320. So here we go. So I lined up my digits. It's not important to line up your decimal when you're multiplying. I'm going to multiply 5 by 0. 5 times 2 is 10. Raise the 1. 5 times 3 is 15. Plus 1 is 16. And then I could go ahead and multiply all the numbers by 0 again and then 0 after that. But I know I'm just going to get zeros. So I'm going to leave my answer like this and recognize that there are two place values behind the decimal. So I will count one, two behind the decimal in my answer. And my answer is 16. So nice job, Sienna. It looks like 5% of 320 is 16. So this answer you actually are not able to use if you submit this assignment after this video is posted. But you heard how many different possible answers there are. I know of at least five. So please use this as an example. Do your best to come up with one on your own that works. Um, one common mistake is people were coming up with answers that had decimals in them. Um, let's try our best, or they were maybe rounding to the ones place. Let's try our best to find an answer that is just two digits and that is a two digit whole number. Um, and then also, if you already turned the assignment in and you didn't get full credit because you uh, maybe didn't hit the mark, go ahead and um, try it again and submit another answer. That will work. I can always uh, change your score. And again, if you 
didn't do the assignment in the first place, I did return it, but you can always resubmit it with a different, a different try. Okay, thanks for tuning in.